On Canva, we can now use AI to instantly write code to generate interactive apps and widgets. Instead of spending hours writing code or hiring an expensive designer, you can now use Canva code to generate any code that you need. Simply describe what you want using a text prompt and watch as the AI code generator brings your idea to life. Whether you need to build a dynamic tool for your business or just want to create a fun interactive game, you can easily do this on Canva with just a few clicks. This allows anyone to easily develop their own custom app or widget to use for their website, presentation, or any other purpose. We'll be going over several AI coding examples to test out Canva code and see what it's actually capable of. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to access the AI code generator. But before we get started, if you haven't joined Canva Pro yet, simply scan the QR code on the screen here to unlock your free trial. With Canva Pro, you can access tons of premium tools and features, such as the background remover, thousands of professionally crafted design templates, access to all of the images and graphics in the Canva library, and tons of other tools to help you create amazing designs. To try Canva Pro for free, scan the QR code on the screen, or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So to use Canva code, the first thing we'll have to do is open up Canva AI. To do this, let's click the button here. This should open up the Canva code description box where you can enter text prompts for AI. At the bottom here, you should see several tabs. To access Canva code, let's select the Code For Me tab. And here's where we can enter a text prompt and have AI automatically generate any code that we need. With Canva code, we can generate things like pricing calculators, interactive games or menus, countdown timers, digital birthday cards, or pretty much any other app or widget that you can think of. So for our first example, let's start with something fun and generate an interactive game. But in order to generate exactly what you want, you need to make sure you enter a good text prompt. When writing your text prompts, you want to be as detailed as possible. Make sure you describe what you want your app or widget to do, what it should include, how it should look, and any other details you can think of. So for my text prompt, I'm going to ask the AI to build a game where players can move a basket to catch falling coins. Use a clean, cartoon-style design with a light background and include a score counter and 20-second timer with a cheerful sound effect on each catch. If this works, this should be a fun little game to demonstrate Canva's AI coding capabilities. So now that I've entered my text prompt, let's click the Submit button here to see if AI can code my game. And this will take us over to the coding screen where Canva will automatically start coding your Apple widget. On the right hand side here, we can see each line of code and how many lines of code that are being generated. And if we take a look at the left hand side panel, there is actually a chat box where we can talk with the AI while we create our app. At the top here is the request to build my game. And in response, the AI says I'll create a fun coin catching game with a cartoon style design. The game will feature a movable basket, falling coins, a score counter, and a 20 second timer. And using the text field at the bottom here, you can easily chat with the AI to make updates and changes. So to code your app or widget, it may take Canva code a few moments. But once it's finished, your new creation will be available in the right hand side panel. Wow, this is actually really cool. I have my basket here that I can move around with my mouse and catch my falling coins. It has a nice cartoon style design. And I have my score tracker and my timer at the top. So let's catch these last few falling coins here and voila, the game is over. I can see my score, and if I like, I can click the play again button. And if we take a look at the left hand side panel, we can see a message here that says I've created a fun coin catching game with a cartoon style. Move your mouse or finger on mobile to control the basket and catch falling coins. The game includes a 20 second timer, score counter, cartoon style basket and coins, decorative cloud elements, a responsive design that works on all devices, and a game over screen with the final score and restart button. And if we look at the bottom here, we can also see a note that says it couldn't include the sound effects that I requested due to technical limitations with audio support. So I guess as of now, we can't do sound effects. So this is version one of my game, but let's see how easy it is to update my game if needed. As an example, let's see if the AI can change my basket color to blue. And once you make your request, go ahead and click the submit button. The AI will then analyze my request and responds with, I'll make the basket blue for you. Let me update the design. And if we look at the right hand side panel, we can see the AI is recoding my game. After about a minute or so, my game should be regenerated with a blue basket. As you can see, for version two, my basket has been changed, but everything else has stayed the same. So feel free to make any changes that you like. 
And once you're happy with everything, go ahead and go up to the top right of the page and click the Use and Design button. And my new game should now be opened up in the Canva editor. To play my game or interact with your widget, simply double click the template. You can then test everything out and make sure everything works the way you want it. And if you like, you can also enhance your app or widget by adding text or graphics from the Canva library. And after adding your text, graphics, or other elements, everything else for your app should work the same. So in order to share or play my game from anywhere, I'm going to publish it as a website. To do this, let's go up to the top menu here and click the Publish Website button. This will open up a drop down menu where you can select your published settings. From here, you can select to resize your app on mobile, include a navigation menu if you're publishing multiple pages, edit your website URL, and adjust your published settings where you can change your browser tab heading. Feel free to adjust these if you like, but once you're finished, go down to the bottom here and click the Publish button. The website for my game will then be created, and after a moment, my new website should be live. If I wanted to share my game, I could simply copy the URL here. But to check out the new website for my game and see how it works, let's click the View Website button here. And here's how my game looks when being played on the live website. I have my coin catching game which seems to be working perfectly, and we can also view the text that I added in the Canva editor. So we've gone over how to create a game using Canva code, now let's see if you can create something a bit more professional. So from the Canva homepage, let's head back over to Canva code by clicking the Canva AI button, then clicking the Code For Me tab. And here's where we can enter our text prompt to generate our code. So let's say I run a t-shirt printing business, and I want to create a simple shipping calculator that customers can use on my website. For my text prompt, I'm going to type in create a simple shipping price calculator for my t-shirt e-commerce website T-Trends. Let users pick a shipping destination using a drop-down menu with US, Canada, and United Kingdom. Let users choose a shipping method, standard or priority, via radio buttons. Let users enter a number of t-shirts, 1 through 10, with the default number of 1. And calculate shipping costs based on destination, method, and number of t-shirts. I then provide the standard and priority shipping prices for the various destinations. So now that I've entered my text prompt, let's go down to the bottom right and click the Submit button. The AI will then analyze my text prompt and start generating my code. And after about a minute or so, my new shipping price calculator should be generated. From the looks of it, I think this turned out pretty good. I have my T-Trends brand name at the top, the shipping cost calculator subheading, a drop-down menu where customers can select the shipping destination, two radio buttons where customers can select the standard or priority shipping method, and a field where they can enter their number of shirts. For this example, let's select three. And once the customer enters all their information, they can go down to the bottom here and click the Calculate Shipping button. And this will show them their shipping cost breakdown. With the information I provided, the total shipping cost will be $6. I think this works perfectly, so let's go up to the top right here and click the Use in a Design button. And my new shipping cost calculator should then be opened up in the Canva editor. This time before publishing, I think I'll use Canva's tools and features to add graphics and text to create a full web page for my shipping calculator. Using Canva's tools and features, you can easily create cool web pages, presentations, and other designs that feature your app or widget. And once you're ready to take it live, simply go up to the top right here and click the Publish Website button. You can then select your settings and then click the Publish button at the bottom. Canva should then start creating my site, and voila, my website is now live. I can now use the link to share my new shipping calculator, but to check it out, let's click the View Website button. And here's my live shipping cost calculator for my T-Trends apparel brand. Before placing an order in my store, customers now have a cool little widget that they can use to calculate their shipping costs. So as you can see, whether you need to generate code for a fun interactive game, a helpful tool for your business, or even an interactive quiz for your students, you can now easily do this with Canva code. So that's a quick overview of how to use AI to generate code on Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.